uh, first let's create a virtual machine virtual host virtual host one okay i will select amazon linux key pair name is key one uh, i will allow all port come down all traffic so here i will create two uh, virtual machine okay so one for one another one for second experiment okay successfully i created two virtual machine so the second virtual machine for the second uh, experiment okay so first we will go with the first virtual machine one virtual host i will connect this virtual machine then i'll try to create a virtual host let's see how we can do that let me get the public ip address i'll go to download what is the key name key one, key one. ssh minus key one ec2 minus user at the rate public ip address i connected my virtual machine right okay now i need to install apache server okay so for that i'll become root sudo su then then yum install httpd okay i need to start as well right so system ctl start httpd so before i need to give one minus y over here to auto accept enter and this is going to install apache then automatically it will start let's let's try okay successfully done okay system ctl status httpd you can see that is active under me right so i'll get the public ip address then i'll search and i'll be able to access the application you can see that i'm able to access the application right so i will create two application then i will access it to do that i'll go to my instance i'll go to my instance so i'll go to cd var www.html what is this directory HTML directory. See, if you want to create any application, we have to go to this particular directory. Then we have to create a file over there, index.html or else Angular file, whatever it is, application. Okay. So here I am going to create two applications. How? I will create two directories. Okay. We have to create two directories. For that, mkdir. So I need to create two directory, right? So first I will call it as application A, then application B. End. And you can see that we have a two directories now. Application A and application B. Application B. So first, I will getting into application A. I'll, I'll do one thing. I will create a file over there. Echo. Then we can create uh, H1. H1. Hello, app A. Okay. Hello, app A. So this is I'm going to send application A. Index dot HTML. End. Okay. The same step I'll repeat. But in this time, I'll send to application B. B. So I'll change application B. End. Done. So I'll go to application A first. Yeah, let's. You can see there one file over here. I'll open this file. Cat index dot html. See application A over here. Right. Okay. Close it. I'll do one thing. Close it. Now, my run over here. Okay, this was our okay. I need to close this, right? Okay, I'll do that. Come here. <coughs> Successfully closed. It's one, right? Okay. So now I will push to application one, application A, and uh, this is application A, right? Okay, done. So now I will. So now I'll do one thing. I'll go to my uh, server. Then I'll try to access. What is application? A. A. application a right i'll go to application b application b i'm getting right but without entering this directory we have to access in a particular port so for that we have to use virtual host concept okay so for that i'll go to my virtual machine configuration page uh, where is it located huh eh? sorry etc first we have to go to the configuration directory where is the configuration directory etc then HTTPD then conf then HTTPD dot conf end and you can see the configuration page over here right so come down so come down come down
Okay, we need to add virtual host over here. Okay, let me try. Here itself. Okay, I will add my virtual host virtual host information here. All is okay. But virtual host can do okay. Okay, fine. Over here, right? Okay, I will add my virtual virtual host information over here. For that, you have to execute this command. So please listen. So first, open, then virtual host, then private IP address. So what's my server private IP address? One seventy two forty two forty seven, right? I'll go to my virtual machine. Then I will paste the IP address over here. And this is I will mention port number eighty one. And this application working on port number eighty one. So close this. Then enter document root. Document root. So we have to specify the location of document root. So what is the application A location? Slash var www HTML application A. Right. So now we need to close virtual host. So for that virtual host. That's it. Okay. So the same we have to repeat again. I'll copy this, then I'll paste over here. Okay. So we have to change uh, port number from eighty one to eighty two, then application B. That's it. And one application will be working on port number eighty. Another one, eighty two. That's it. So Control O. So before we save this file, so we have to go to uh, bottom uh, top of this page, and we'll be have an option over there. Listen. Port number listen right. We need to change from listen from eighty two, eighty one, eighty two. Then only it will work. Okay, control on, enter control X. Next, we need to restart system CTL. Restart HTTPD. Successfully done. So now I'll go to my uh, virtual machine. Where is my virtual machine? Okay. See, I'll do one thing. I'll remove this. Then port number eighty one. I'm getting application one. So if I go to port number eighty two, I'm getting application B. But if I'm not mentioning any port number, what happen? It will not work because port number eighty is not listening now. See, it's not working anything. Okay. Suppose if I go to my uh, configuration page again, then I'm adding port number eighty. So then you'll be get what? Test page exactly. Test page. Listen, port number eighty. Control O, enter Control X, then restart your system. Then refresh port number eighty, and you can see the test page over here. Okay, one IP address, but multiple application. For company telling, so we want to reduce cost. So can you host multiple application? We can do that by using virtual host concept. Okay, so now we go. Now we going to implement two public IP address and different applications, or two private application. Sorry, uh, two private IP address, different applications. We only need to attach one Elastic Network interface. That's it. Okay. Any doubt? Hmm. Limited. Now we can do. So, first, now we can do limited. We can enhance the number. Choi ka. Our de choi chena ko. Public.